Charlotte here. I'm here in Santa Barbara just for the day. It's the first day of 2024 and we're spending the day here. It's the weather is so beautiful. I already feel like it's going to be a good day. I'm excited to find out about the food, the town, all the things that I'm going to see in Santa Barbara. So come with me and our little Charlie who's obviously really excited and see what Santa Barbara is like. <laughs> it's a stork, right? Whoa! Wow. So we're here at the Stearns Wharf. So far, it seems like similar to other piers like Santa Monica or Redondo. Right now I see restaurants, not that too crowded, which is good. So I'm just gonna walk here with Charlie and see what they have. The signs are cute. If you look at the little lights, lamps. Hi. Do you have like a like a destination and like price list? We don't have a price list. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So we're here at Lokum, the Turkish delight and Turkish coffee place. And look at this. Oh my gosh. I haven't tried anything yet, but this is already such an elegant experience. Look at this outside table. I don't know. This is so beautiful. So here I have pistachio, strawberry, and hazelnut. Strawberry, coconut, with almond cream. This little guy, brown guy, is honey, pistachio, and coffee. Sliced the beef with pistachios. Thank you. What? Oh, it comes with a little Turkish delight. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I think this is the hazelnut coffee. Yeah. And this is the Ottoman coffee. And it comes with a little Turkish delight. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. First with the hazelnut coffee. 
I already have my morning cup of coffee, so this might really wire me. That's why you have this. Strong coffee. Okay, I'm gonna try this Turkish Delight that came with the coffee. The colors. I think it's with cherry, sunflower seeds, and pistachio and powdered sugar. It's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna try Josh's Ottoman coffee. Mmm, I like this much more. It's not as acidic, it's more mild, and I don't know, there's slight creaminess to it. It doesn't seem as strong as the hazelnut one, which is more strong, bold, kind of acidic, and like in your face. This is more kind of mellowed out, still strong, but more creamy and it has a nutty flavor really good that's so good i can eat like a million of those you shouldn't oh, no. try the coffee Love it. Oh. <laughs> that's intense but try mine that's try good. try that's try the good. hazelnut though you'll see the difference Love it. Oh. <laughs> That's hazelnutty, but it's that strong. Because you know how like dark roast coffee you get at the gas station or any any store. Or <laughs> hotels. Beans. Hotels, whatever. It's just intense burnt mm -hmm. beans. But this is like dark. I think it's what it's supposed to be. Okay. Okay. Let's try the uh, Turkish Delight. Right, Side note. Come here. You can sit outside here. And you have seats in the street outside. over there. So I want to try this first, slice kadif, kadif first. This looks like there's honey and oh my gosh, you see beautiful pistachios and crispy pastry. Oh, okay, this is too... <laughs> oh, okay, it's like a log. I'm just gonna go for it. Mmm! Mmm! It's so koso -e. It's so nutty. Mm. Not overly sweet. So crispy. You can tell that's like really good quality pistachios, like deep nuttiness and richness. The honey works so perfectly. So good. Oh, isn't that interesting? And so it's kind of like coated like a candied nut almost, but on the outside, this crunchiness of, um, can't think of the name of this, but it adds a really nice sweet uh, flavor to the whole thing. And, and like kind of a, almost a smoky, like cooked flavor, huh? Slightly toasted. Toasted, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Okay. So. Mm. I like that one. My favorite chocolate is the Ferrero Rocher, the coconut one. It's a little bit similar. It reminds me of that one. It's not overly sweet, good coconut flavors, creamy, hints of nuts, good chewiness, not too chewy. Very good. And a little bit of the strawberry cream. Mm. Mm. That strawberry cream is so good too. I don't like it when they do the strawberry flavor all wrong. This is done right. This reminds me of Yanggeng, the Korean jelly. Mm. I thought the the cover covering outside, I thought it was chocolate or cocoa. It was actually coffee, ground coffee. So the bitterness of the coffee and the sweetness from the delight bounces off really well. I chose this one because it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it looks like a roll cake, like a Dojima roll cake. That's one. Cheers. Mm. The texture of this one is really fun because it's not as chewy and it's just rolled. So the layer is really fun. And the surprising thing is, so I thought it would be quite similar tasting, but they're all so different and kind of very unique in their own way. I think if I pick a favorite out of the Turkish Delight, I think the coffee one is my favorite. The contrast of bitterness and sweet works the best here. But out of all of this, this is my favorite, Kadif. This is like something I can eat every day, I think. I don't know how to translate it in English, but it's like so cool to way. <sighs> I'm telling Josh to read his New Year fortune with the, the leftover coffee and his coffee grains in his cup. Let me see. That's not a fortune. <laughs> That's goop. My year's gonna be goopy. <laughs> it's 
put it back. Santa Barbara International Film Festival. <gasps> this is so beautiful. Whoa, look at the mural. Can I get a picture here with Charlie? I just want to see the theater real quick. So we just entered into the theater, Arlington Theater. And as you can see, they have really, really gone all out for the design of inside. You've got these beautiful, colorful lights. You have an entire, like an adobe looking city town built on the side of the walls, as if you're watching it outside, but you're actually inside. And there's that beautiful screen. And look at the chairs, look at the chairs. Oh my gosh, They're, this is glorious. This is where I wanna watch all my movies. Look at that second story. He's one of the musicals and plays, it's gorgeous. But they only play movies here like three times a day. It's never really packed, as she said. And um, I guess they have musicals and plays and everything else here, but what a theater. I have to say this theater has outdone itself in every single way. Look at this. Oh. Look, it says, here's a piece of history, an original settee from Gone with the Wind. Below is a plaque from this beautiful furnishing which commemorates this thrilling saga. Wait, I don't understand. It's the original settee? I don't know. Okay. The spiked zucchinis are so good. It has like a spicy flavor. I don't know, almost like a Cajun seasoning. Now for the potato cake. Oh, it's like, oh, it's like more mushier than I thought. Interesting. It's like mashed potato, but like just crispy edges. Nothing? No, I thought it would be more like potato pancakes, but I was wrong. Nice spice to it. This is the signature burger. Not bad. Mm. I wish the beef was a little bit more moist, the patty. This is not bad for $5. It must be like a housemate's dressing. Mmm, surprisingly good.
of 2024. Okay, so we're here at Padero Beach Grill. I've been wanting to come here for like years. Quick note though, dog owners, dogs are not allowed um, in the property as well as the patio. Quick note for parents, there's a play area in the back where your kids can play around while you, while you eat your food. And I didn't know there's a happy hour. So we got two tacos for $10. So this is the shrimp, grilled shrimp taco. And this is the grilled fish taco. It looks scrumptious. Let's take a bite. It's a pretty good deal for $5. It seasons really well. Sometimes I have a problem with fish tacos because I feel like most of them, they don't season it well. But this is seasoned quite well. Perfect to my taste. And now for the shrimp tacos. The shrimp. Mmm. Quite good. Nothing mind-blowing, but fresh and good price. And I think for the atmosphere, which we didn't get to experience, I think it's definitely worth the visit. If I come back here, but I would love to just, I don't know, have a beer, have some fish tacos, seafood. If that's what you want, I highly recommend. So that's it for our short Santa Barbara trip. It's late. We're going back to LA. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.